Okay, gang, I wanted to make a quick little video here for you to help you in determining how to read an academic journal. Um, they can be a little tricky sometimes and they can look a little intimidating. So I was looking around on um, the internet, so to speak, and I found a nice little website here that kind of jives with some of my particular thoughts. I'm going to go over some main points of this particular information. I'm also going to put this link up in your um, research folder as well. Um, so listen along here and hopefully this helps you out a little bit, okay? Um, one thing that this article really goes over that I agree with is some of the main points of authors, how to approach the particular um, academic journal, and then honestly how to read an academic journal. I guess I haven't had a lot of experience doing this, so um, I just want to go over this with you. Uh, just remember to summarize and paraphrase what this particular title is saying here, how to understand the author. Here's a big thing. When you're looking at an academic journal, generally if you go through a database, it is credible research, but be sure that the you know that they're not presenting you any biased information or only one side of the story. Okay, uh, for the most part, on your academic databases, you're going to get nice journals that present contradictory evidence, so to speak, both sides or opposing viewpoints of the particular issue. So I think you'll be okay using our particular databases. Okay, uh, one thing, not only with your academic journals, but then next, just with your re research in general. Remember. Always keep in mind your research question, okay? The research question that you developed for me this past week, all right? Keep that in mind. So while you are researching and while you're reading through that particular academic journal, you can find information that goes along with your research question and in turn start to develop some of your main points, okay? Big thing is question everything that you read and then from there think critically about what you're going to read and base your own arguments off of it. Use the information that you are reading to create a mind baby. From there, use that information to support your mind baby. So that's what you're going to do with all of your research. You're researching information, creating your own thoughts about how it's going to answer your research question in your paper. Then you're going to use this particular evidence in your academic journal and other sources to support your statements. Now, I really like this here. And I'm going to, pay, like I said, I'm going to post this up on Edmodo as well under the research notes and guidelines folder. But um, this is really good stuff. Steps to read in the uh, article. Well, most articles, guys, or most academic journals are going to have one or more of these main components that I'm highlighting right now in it. It will have an abstract, an introduction, methodology, results, discussion, conclusion, references, etc. Okay, I like how they point this out to you. Read the abstract first. The abstract, guys, is a summary of the entire article. This will have the main points of that particular article. If you look at the abstract and you feel that it has nothing to do with your own particular thoughts over your research question or your particular issue, don't use that academic journal. Okay, next, also read the particular conclusion. Okay. They will go ahead and have the main points of their particular arguments and come up with their particular results over the entire article. Okay, um, those are some of the first things that you need to do from there. Now, as it as you know, as I said to you, and as this information is saying, if you feel like that you like this particular information, go for it. Start reading the article, and then from there, taking notes. Okay. Speaking of notes, let's go ahead and move forward. All right. There are a few ways to take notes. We've talked about that with you guys. You can use your note card system or you can use the other two note taking options that I have given you, okay? But this is what I mentioned to you guys the other day and I wanna to mention to it to you right now. The big three subheadings or the big three parts of the academic journal that you will want to really look at will be the abstract, discussion, and conclusion. So once again, the abstracts, the summary of the whole article, the introductions, why they're doing the research, and the first, excuse me, the discussion rather, <laughs> are what the results mean. And then from there, after that, you can look at the conclusion. Those are the big three right there. Now, is every academic journal going to have all of these? Not everyone will. They might be titled a little differently as well. But the big three again, abstract, discussion, and then from there, conclusion because the discussion basically is going to tell you what the results mean exactly and conclusions what they learn and what they learn is what you can use also in your particular uh, research paper stay away from 
methodology. From there, stay away from results as well. Because here's the scoop, gang. Methodology, that's how they did the research, and they are going to hit you over the head with all of their particular instruments that they use to do their particular surveys, research, etc. That will get you a little confused, a little lost. Don't worry about it. Move on from that. Okay? So once you get to that particular point of your particular academic journal, simply use note cards, simply use the other two note-taking um, information, uh, you know, the, the uh, note-taking options that I went over with you, and you'll be good to go. Okay? And here, how to reference the article. We've been over this as well, generally. Basically, quoting using the words of the original author so that way you cannot reword it. And that's, again, something that you feel like they put it so well, you can't put it any better yourself. And then we've been over this several times as well, paraphrasing, essentially summarizing, but putting information about the same amount of words as the original source, okay? And it is, indeed, the most commonly used in academic writing, okay? So the big thing there, gang, is like I mentioned to you, I would like you to paraphrase as much as possible because that's showing me you're synthesizing the information and then from there you are thinking about it and it's lending voice to your particular paper as well so that way it doesn't look like a report, okay? That's about it on how to read an academic journal. I am also going to post this link up on Edmodo. It's actually pretty gosh darn good. I'm pretty impressed with it and uh, we'll go from there.